Volvo's second generation XC90 was worth the wait. A seven seat luxury SUV that'll give key rivals like Audi's Q7 and the Land Rover Discovery a lot to think about. Safe, efficient, clever, practical and stylish, it re-establishes the Swedish maker as a credibly prestigious automotive brand. When it comes to handling dynamics, large luxury SUVs are no longer quite so easy to pigeonhole. There are still some cars in this class that are better on road, think BMW X5, and others that are better off it, think Land Rover Discovery. But the differences aren't as sharp as they used to be. One thing hasn't changed in this segment though, a Volvo XC90 still gives you the best compromise between these virtues and in second generation guys wraps it up in a far more rewarding overall package that these days is based solely around the use of 2 litre 4 cylinder power. Volvo reckons this to be the optimum recipe for efficient performance and backs up its thinking by delivering three impressive engines using that configuration in this car, all of which are mated to on-demand four-wheel drive and an eight-speed automatic gearbox. Here we're trying the 225 brake horsepower twin-turbo D5 diesel variant that most will want. Alternatively, there's petrol power, courtesy of an engine using both turbocharging and supercharging to develop 320 brake horsepower. That unit's offered in standard form in a conventional petrol T6 model, or you can get it mated to an 87 brake horsepower electric motor in the clever T8 twin engine petrol electric plug-in hybrid model, a car that makes 400 brake horsepower performance with super mini style running costs. The two conventional variants will be more rewarding to use if you get a car with a drive mode settings system fitted, which alters throttle, steering and gear shift timings to suit the way you want to drive. The optional air suspension we'd also recommend functions through the same setup and improves low speed ride. Whatever spec you choose, there's as much off-road prowess as most owners will want and tarmac handling is assured, crisp and responsive for this class of car. The look of this second generation XC90, according to its uh, exterior design manager, Anders Gunnarsson, needed to be timeless. If, like its predecessor, its model life must stretch across the decades, then you can certainly see why. Hence the considerable depth of thought that's clearly gone into a sense of style reflective of brand values both old and new. This car's a little longer than the previous version and a little wider too, but that's been carefully disguised as part of a design brief to make the shape look as compact as possible. So many large luxury SUVs appear bulky and intimidating. This is not one of them. As for the boot space on offer, well, that's inevitably going to be a little restricted with all seven seats in place. Although, even in this configuration, you still get 397 litres of luggage space. Most of the time, of course, you'll probably be running the car with these third row chairs folded down. The retracting process much easier than the back braking fumbly machinations that you have to go through in a rival Land Rover Discovery to achieve exactly the same end result. Once that's completed, there's a lot of room to play with. 775 litres if you load to the window line and as much as 1,102 litres if you load to the roof. Let's take a seat up front where it really is very nice indeed. The work of Volvo's British interior design director, Robin Page. He's created a cabin that's simple, elegant and very uncluttered with only eight buttons on the fascia. The remaining functions you'd normally access through confusing rows of little switches on the dash, but they've been relocated into menu options that lie behind the big, easy-to-use icons that you'll find on a smart infotainment colour touchscreen that's presented portrait-style on the centre console, like the system you'll find in a Tesla Model S. We like the technical niceties too, the clean zone interior air quality system for example. We would also point potential buyers towards the optional 19 speaker 1400 watt Bowers and Wilkin sound system that can play your music through three modes, studio, individual stage and concert hall. 
Your middle row passengers will of course enjoy that too and they're well catered for in other ways with individual seats that slide and recline for greater comfort on longer journeys. Here I've got the optional family pack fitted which includes window sun blinds and child locks and also this integrated fold-out centre booster seat. Another option, this huge panoramic glass roof, gives this part of the cabin a light, airy feel, which is something that we think you'd really want in a seven-seat car. Ah yes, the proper seven-seat functionality that we mentioned earlier. Time to put that aspect of this XC90 to the test. Third row seating in a car of this class tends to be designed only for children, but here Volvo claims to have created rearmost pews suitable for anyone up to 5 feet 7 inches in height. So let's see. Getting into the back row takes a bit of muscular dexterity. But once you are installed, it is, as promised, surprisingly comfortable back here. The chairs themselves are exactly the same as those in the middle. Uh, so you're not fobbed off with the kind of uh, fold-out occasional seats that you get in some rivals. And they're positioned in so-called theatre style, slightly raised and set inwards to offer a better view in the direction of travel. This model's four-cylinder Drive E engines offer huge efficiency savings over the units used in the previous generation XC90 range and embarrass many rivals too in this respect. The D5 diesel variant I'm trying here returns 49.6 miles per gallon on the combined cycle and emits just 149 grams per kilometer of CO2. In other words, about the same running cost you get from a little 1.6 litre automatic petrol Ford Focus. Even the conventional T6 petrol version manages 36.7 miles per gallon and puts out a very creditable 179 grams per kilometer of CO2. Go for the T8 twin engine, plug-in petrol electric though, and this Volvo's potential efficiency climbs to a new level. Official figures suggesting 134.5 miles per gallon on the combined cycle and 49 grams per kilometre of CO2 to be somehow possible. Plus, there's up to 26 miles of pure electric driving range from a charge that could take as little as two and a half hours. Volvo, like its rival Land Rover, seems to be flourishing under foreign ownership. You might have expected Chinese control to stifle the company's Scandinavian character. Instead, what we've been given here is a return to Swedish charisma and an emphasis on all the things that the Gothenburg brand does best. Cool, restrained style, real-world practicality and class-leading safety. Of course, this Volvo is not perfect. There are still sharper handling choices and more capable off-roaders in this sector. In balancing these virtues, though, this XC90 sets its own class standard and in doing so establishes a family benchmark amongst luxury SUVs that rivals will struggle to match. Company founders Asar Gabrielson and Gustav Larsson would have liked this car. More importantly, though, if you're shopping in this segment, we think you will too.